Well, the protests started on Wall Street and they've spread from coast to coast now. Yeah, today the Occupy Wall Street movement comes to Music City. Heather Jensen's live at Legislative Plaza where a rally is planned for later today. Instead of Occupy Wall Street, it will be Occupy Nashville. As you said, the protests of Wall Street have made it here to Nashville. At noon today, this plaza is expected to be filled with people, of course, all joining the fight for the middle class. And it is expected to be peaceful. However, you can expect security to be closely standing by. This call to action started in New York where hundreds of protesters are camped out near the New York Stock Exchange, speaking out against alleged greed on Wall Street. Protests have not always been peaceful. Several hundred demonstrators have been arrested for disorderly conduct over the last couple of weeks, but that's not stopping the movement. Now, here's how we got where we are now. This movement started on September 17th in New York as protests against Wall Street and economic inequality. It quickly gained momentum with the support across the country, including several unions. Now, the focus has varied. However, everyone seems to agree that the country's money is going into the wrong hands. Once again, this will be called Occupy Nashville, and the focus here specifically is for free and fair elections. Many feel that the elections have been made corrupt, not only by corporate interest, but also by the wealthy. We'll have more on today's protest coming up in a live report in 30 minutes, so stay with us at Legislative Plaza. Heather Jensen, Nashville's News 2. Hey, Heather, thank Thank you. Not everyone agrees with the roots of this Occupy Wall Street movement. Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain had harsh words for the protesters at a book signing last night. And here in Nashville, syndicated radio host Steve Gill said it's important to note the differences between these events and the Tea Party protests that have popped up this year. Well, I think these people need to understand we're a long way from Wall Street. And I think when you look at these protests, they are very different than what we've seen from the Tea Party. The Tea Party is really following in the footsteps of George Washington and Ben Franklin and F. Adams and Jefferson. These folks are following in the footsteps of Marx and Lenin and Hugo Chavez and Fidel Castro, two dramatically different philosophical bases of communism and socialism versus the capitalism and the free markets. And, and I think people should see that distinction in the kinds of protests that you're seeing. We've already seen it a little bit out of hand with 700 arrests in Wall Street uh, just the other day. And I think, again, that's the difference in these two kinds of protests, the Tea Party versus this sort of uh, Wall Street anarchy that you're seeing. You know, the Tea Party really is following in the legacy of the American Revolution. This this is really following in the legacy of the French Revolution. It's mobs versus constitutionalists. And again, I hope the American people will see the distinction. You know, these folks are saying that this is the first kind of big protest that Nashville has ever seen. And I think they've kind of overlooked the horn honking protest against the state income tax about a decade ago. For years, thousands of people turned out, again, in sort of the Tea Party protest mode. We'll see if they can pull out the, those kind of numbers here in Nashville. I think the challenge is what are you protesting? Uh, when you look at the, the street mobs, the anarchy and the violence we saw in London just a few weeks weeks ago. That's protest, but they're brandishing Molotov cocktails instead of brandishing the Constitution. And I think it's got to be a real careful effort by these protests to stay within the confines of speaking rather than acting in kind of the thuggish, violent, looting, burning way that we saw in London. Unfortunately, I think that's the path they're headed. While you look at the Tea Party, they're brandishing the Constitution. These folks are a half step away from brandishing Molotov cocktails. I think when you look at what they're saying the reasons are, you're looking at communism, socialism, and anarchy. I mean, the signs that are being brandished by people at these protests clearly tell us what they're looking for. In fact, some of them have been, been, been speaking in terms of revolution, uh, which is, again, follow where their revolutionary path goes. It's Castro. It's Hugo Chavez. It is not the path that America has chosen for 200 years, and I hope that Americans will reject it. What do you think? Uh, a discussion is heated up on our Facebook page at WKRN-TV.